Uh, so the classes that engage me, uh, the teachers do make a personal connection with you as opposed to the ones who are not. And uh, they, a lot of them have more, they, you can apply them to life other than, you know, it's just this one time deal. You can't think of a way that it's actually going to help you down the future. But the ones that do engage me, I can constantly apply every day. That you know, will make me better. Uh, the most engaging classes for me are always the ones where they focus more on the act of creation versus the act of analysis, where they're teaching you the information and they're making sure you know what you're talking about, but they're allowing you to really implement it instead of just saying, how is this being used here? They're teaching you, how can you use this? And uh, so really that ability to really implement what you're learning instead of just learning it. Um, I think that they engage us by us not having to just sit down and take notes all day. I like how we get to move around and do projects and like more group work instead of just having to listen to a lecture the whole time. When you can tell that, that they have a passion for their craft and have a compassion for the kids, uh, it's a lot easier. Um, they engage me a lot more whenever we get to like actively be a part of the class and um, actively have a relationship with that teacher. Um, that just helps to kind of like bring you into it rather than just, oh, you have to learn this because the state tells you. It's more like this can help you like throughout your life, so you should get involved in it. Um, I feel that teachers engage me more whenever they customize their lesson plans daily with what uh, the students have to say rather than having a set thing every day. So it gives us more um, of a freedom of how we want to learn things and it makes it easier for us personally. Um, teachers that I've had in the past have made learning really easy when they have a lot of hands-on activities for us to do and make the environment really easy for us to ask questions so we're not scared to ask questions. It also helps because not everybody learns the same so when we do hands-on activities and um, stuff like that then it's easier for the people that necessarily can't learn just by reading books and taking notes. Yes, yes, because it's, uh, I, again, I, I like when you can tell that they're, they want to be teaching what, what, what they're teaching, not that they're just in a job teaching what, what they're teaching. Whenever a teacher really feels like they're learning who you are as a person, I have more of a drive to show them that I want to be learning what you're teaching me. And the fact that it shows that they care who I am as a student, not just as another kid in their classroom, it really gives me more of a drive to further myself for them. You, when you develop a friendship with the teacher, you, you don't want to disappoint them, so you want to work really hard for them, and so you want them to be proud of you, and just to impress them and to show that they're, they spending the time on you to make you better really will pay off. Like Since they're involved in my life, I feel like I need to be involved in theirs, and so I'm a little more accountable towards them, as in like turning in work or... Yeah, like turning in assignments, like doing my best in it, I feel like I want to do that to impress them because I'm friends with them because I'm interested in that relationship with them and I feel like that could be ruined if I just am a bad student or misbehave. Yes ma'am, I definitely do. I like knowing that teachers have my best interest at heart and I like knowing that they care about me and that I really care about them and connect to them on a personal level. Um, like for me, example, um, like they come to like sports, all like all activities, and they come to like soccer. So it makes me want to like work harder in classes. Um, they've gotten to know me. They've gotten to learn the struggles that students face every day, and uh, the struggles of high school. And they've uh, they've tried to help us with those struggles and get to know us. Yeah. I think they build a relationship with me when they show and take that extra step. That to show me that they care. For example, like at the beginning of the year, I went into a guidance counselor, uh, counselor's office, and one of my teachers was already there. And instead of like saying anything, then she pulled me aside the next day, and she was like, "Hey, are you still having the same problem?" And that really helped me realize that she cared because I actually thought she didn't at the beginning of the year, and I have loved her class ever since. Uh, kind of having one-on-ones, uh, really caring about making sure that you understand you individually and the other kids in the class and not like leaving anybody behind? Um, they just care and they show you that they care by like asking you how your day was and not just like just by genuinely caring and like the little things that you notice like if you say oh I hurt my ankle the next day like hey is your ankle okay? It's, yeah it's stuff like that. Um, it's really 
it's just a lot of just like talking to you, like making jokes, asking how your day is going. Um, it's just, it's a lot of casual stuff and like even just stopping by your desk and I don't know, hitting you on the head or something. They don't do that, but. <clears throat>